Welcome to the Pear Tree Hotel. A former vicarage with a medieval history, this charming family-run hotel is set in the heart of the Wiltshire countryside. The Pear Tree is run by Alex, Anne and Tim, who enjoy welcoming guests into their country house home, which is full of character and beautiful views from every window. So I was two and a half when we first moved here, so I'm very much grown up here and it's very much my family home. I did escape for a little bit, uh, but I've come back now um, and it's always interesting but entertaining working with my mum and my husband. I think um, I, unlike Alex, have always been here for 28 years. Um, it's, I try and give guests the impression this is our home, it is our home as well, we, we do, all, all three of us live here. And I know it's difficult when you're travelling for business, staying away, maybe one, two, three nights a week. So we try and make them relax, but also keep a professional touch. That's what we aim to do, is make people feel welcome. It's so true and it's lovely that I get to deal with lots of checkouts, which means that I hear some really nice comments when people do leave. Um, and a lot of them comment that they like the fact it's a family business and that they've got to see one or all of us across the time that they've been here. Sue and her Labrador Hagrid are sure of a warm reception at the Pear Tree as the hotel is particularly dog friendly. We love welcoming dogs. The only rules we have is that they've got to come and say hello to us and get a big fuss on arrival. We like to leave dog treats in the room and we put a blanket over the bed because we know that however hard you try, they'll probably jump on there. We put dog towels in the room because we've got a couple of ponds in the garden and again, however hard you try, they'll probably jump in there. Registration at the bottom there and a signature please. And we have you booked for the one night with a dog. That's correct. Did you want a newspaper in the morning? Yes please. Lovely. Thank you. Thank you. I'll leave your welcome card here, along with your key. Beautiful, isn't it? Hey, you're going to like it, you yeah, I think so. in, Sue and Hagrid decide to take a walk and explore the grounds before lunch. For Anne, seeing her dreams for the pear tree come true has been both a joy and an adventure. We chose the name the pear tree at Purton because Purton in Anglo-Saxon means the pear tree enclosure so and the pear tree at Purton sounds, sounds good. The extensive grounds of the pear tree boast a wildflower meadow, wetlands, its own vineyard, Butlier Walk and beehives, along with the former herbaceous borders and sun terrace. Here is the original dew pond. This is just a little bit of blue on the Ordnance Survey map. Part of the plan after we started this little piece of paradise was to put in a Budlier Avenue so it would really attract so many butterflies. In this part of the garden we don't trim them, we just let them grow wild. And in the summer, in another couple of weeks, there will be hundreds and hundreds of butterflies down here. A couple of years ago there were kestrels nesting in that tree up there but I haven't seen any in this year. And we have had buzzards in the lime tree. When we bought the vicarage in 1987, it had been derelict for quite a few months. The garden obviously had been loved in previous years, but it, it wasn't in a great shape. It was a much, much smaller garden, in fact just up to the bird bath across here. And I've been told that there was a tennis court across the garden at one stage. But all we had was the herbaceous border over there. Um, as the years went on, the garden grew. We put in the path and had one or two flower beds. Um, I tried to do something on the bank, that was fun and games. I tried rambling roses, shrubs, I had daffodil bulbs, nothing really worked. And to my children's disgust, to be honest, because they used to go down there on trays because it's such a lovely slope, I built a wall at the bottom and made another herbaceous border about 15 years ago. But we're still working every year, we're moving and planning. The pond went in about 10 years ago which is, has been a delight. It's, the stones are actually in a pear shape if you look at it from the rooms. 
to Ops for Lunch in the Conservatory restaurant. Thank you. The award-winning cuisine has earned the Pear Trees restaurant its well-deserved reputation for excellence. So we're very, very proud here to have two AA rosettes in our restaurant. We always wanted to be a food-led hotel. So people come here because they know there's really great food while they're staying with us. But also we have a lot of non-residents from the local area who come in and eat. Uh, we do breakfast, lunch, dinner every day of the week. We've got all sorts of exciting things on offer. Adam Conduit here is our head chef. He's been with us for three years. And you were recently promoted to head chef actually, weren't you? But we treat our chefs a bit like we treat our food. We try and get it as local as possible. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Very much homegrown talent here. Uh, we've got quite a small brigade, haven't we? Yeah, it's only four chefs that be in the kitchen, but it works sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> we try and keep it yeah. up. And the food you like to use, so it's fresh, it's seasonal, local where possible? Yeah, uh, if you get local, it's always best. And um, yeah, try and work the seasons, helps with the day as well. enjoy it. I do. Well, wouldn't you with this view, madam? Absolutely. It is stunning. The pear tree has a number of historical connections and the library houses a huge medieval fireplace. The Diocese of Bristol told us that the Purton Vicarage would be coming on the market. Um, so we came down, had a look, walked in the door. It had been derelict. It was all the hall was blue. Um, it basically wasn't loved at all. But I walked in the door, turned right, and there was a door. And I said, one day I'm going to put an arch there and we'll extend. Which was fake because when we did extend, we found the arch. It was there. So that was obviously meant to be. Certain things we inherited, like this fabulous fireplace, is dated at 1430. And there's holes in it, which I think, if you've ever been to the kitchens at Hampton Court, they've got the same thing. So they would have put hooks in there and then done roasting, spit roasting. That's what I like to think. 1912, the vicarage was in the churchyard up until 1912. It was then taken down brick by brick and numbered, or stone by stone, numbered and put in the back of the horse and cart. I spoke to an elderly gentleman who, when we first came down here and he remembered seeing it. In keeping with the history of the Cotswold Hotel, the rooms are all named after famous sons or daughters of Merton. We have 17 rooms in the hotel and uh, we have several standards, executives and we have three vicarage rooms. This is one of our vicarage rooms. Basically the vicarage rooms are in the original part of the building. They come with a spa bath and they overlook the garden. And this is one of my favourites actually, John Mervyn Prower. All of our rooms are named after people from the village with the exception of one of them. Uh, for example, one of the other vicarage rooms is Neville Maskelin, who was the Astronomer Royal. This is James Kibblewhite, which is another vicarage room. He was actually quite a well-known runner, but unfortunately was around before the Olympics, so he never actually got to compete in that, but another Hertonian. Several rooms are named after, we've got Bishop Aldhelm, Canon Willis. There is kind of that feeling towards it because this being the old vicarage, you know, it's got quite a big connection to the church. So every room obviously comes with widescreen TVs, also comes with fresh fruit and biscuits too. We are in Miriam Stevens. Uh, she was a school benefactor who supported obviously Person School and is buried at the church just down the road. And this is one of our executive rooms on the ground floor. All of our executive rooms come with king size beds that can be twinned uh, and they all come with spa baths. Here we are in Alice Wick and Martin. It's a ground floor room. We tend to find that people that are less able to walk too far like this room. It comes in with a walk-in shower which is the only one in the hotel uh, so it's quite popular and it's named after a lady who actually lived to 102 years old. She wrote a book when she was 101 and she's another local legend. This is a, a room that I really like because Alex, my wife and I, spent our wedding nights here. My 
first real experience of the pear tree was getting married just down the road and having our big do here. The hotel nestles in the middle of stunning scenery between the Cotswolds and the Marlborough Downs, making it the perfect venue for a wedding or special event. And we can fit up to 50 people in this room, which is the John Beasy suite. Um, I take charge of a lot of the weddings. I do the wedding coordinating from start to finish. Uh, there's nothing I like more than meeting a bride and groom and a happy couple and then seeing them all the way through to breakfast on the first day that they're actually married and it's so lovely meeting them and their friends and family. We really work on doing small, intimate, more informal events. So we like to say we're formally informal, so we're fairly relaxed, but we do have the table settings and the, the glasses and the china and all this kind of formality but all done in an informal setting so we could do drinks out on the lawn we could do all sorts of options we can also do civil ceremonies in this room itself uh, we can do up to 50 people for that or our library can cater for up to 12 people for, for civil ceremonies we're joe and daryl and we got married here at the pear tree last august um, the reason why we picked the pear tree is because of the lovely gardens as i'm sure you can see around you and also the fact that um, when we came here to have a look around, we felt that Alex was very, um, very attentive. Yeah, she, she sort of made us feel at ease, didn't she, straight away, really? Yeah, she yeah. did. She kind of, she got what we wanted. And kind you, of everything was just sorted. On the day sorted. that we were going, it was just, um, it was relaxed. If, um, Alex it, sort of took control. She was able to steer people where they needed to be without sort of pushing them. Yeah, it was so natural and like everybody said that um, they've never been to such a nice hotel and such a nice wedding because it was just so relaxed and informal. Perfect for the photos, absolutely perfect, got some gorgeous pictures and they looked quite, especially with the little ones, it looked really natural of them just running around in the grass and everything. Um, the food was amazing. Yeah, I still nice. haven't tasted the food because I'm sure most brides say on their wedding day they don't actually taste or eat anything so I am dying. My anniversary, um, Alex has agreed that I can have my wedding day dinner here. Being so close to Swindon yet in the heart of the Wiltshire countryside we are ideal for corporate meetings as well and away days and get togethers and things like that. We can do up to about 30 people for a conference. Cream teas are a real treat on the terrace in the summer months or sitting cosily by the library fire on a winter's day. Yes, we are. Sue and Hagrid work up an appetite for dinner by challenging Jamie to a game of chess on the lawn. <laughs> when guests ask for a glass of house wine, they are truly getting homegrown, as the Curve Alex is made from grapes in the pear tree's own vineyard. On row four of the grapes of the vineyard, these are Sauvel Blanc, Sauvel Blanc, the first nine rows. Now, these are doing very well. They're only tiny bin heads, but these are the grapes. So we've had a good spring, no late frosts. So there's a lot, lots of baby grapes coming here. We need to do a bit of tying up and then we just pray for sunshine. It's named after me, so you get a chance to have a glass of cube Alex served by Alex. It's quite floral and elderflowery. Got a bit more oak to it than you'll find in a Pinot Grigio or a Sauvignon Blanc, but hopefully you'll enjoy it. Lovely. Thank you very much indeed. So what are your plans while you're with us? Well, I just wanted to travel around the local area, being coming to Wiltshire just to see what's here. Have you got any suggestions? Well, I suggest Lydia Park because you've got the dog. Fabulous places to run around with the dog, and there's a beautiful house as well, and the walled garden's always worth a look. Okay. A bit further afield, you've got Malmesbury with Western Bird Arboretum, or there's the Stone Circle at Avebury, which is always popular. Oh, wow, that would be good. So we've got the Cuvée Alex wine, which is one of the two wines that we grow in the garden. This is the still, and the sparkling is named Cuvée after my mum. I personally like to think that the still is a bit better, but she's got other ideas. Being a small family run hotel, I can indulge the things I'm a huge fan of as well, one of which would be gin. You can probably see behind me that we've got a lot of different gins getting very trendy these days. We hold regular gin tastings and we're always happy to give you a taster and show you some of the more interesting drinks that are around. 
Still got a few whiskies around for those more old school people though too. I came here about three weeks ago and actually hosted a gin tasted evening. Um, there was about eight people who came. Um, it was really um, quite informative. My name is Stan Kay. I've been coming to this hotel now since 1989, 26 years. The issue is, why do I come here? The reason is very, very simple. It is such a gorgeous building. It is a very attractive area. The views from the hotel are quite superb. So the primary reason, of course, is the food and the service. The food, in my opinion, for this area is second to none. And the service is exquisite. The service is friendly, very, very attentive, and they look after your every need. Well, we are Richard and Jan Lay. We live in Swindon. We live within a few hundred yards of where we were born and have been coming here to the pear tree for as long as we can remember, certainly over 25 years. We have had our special occasions here, Jan's 60th, my 60th, our 10th wedding anniversary, our mother's um, 80th. 80th birthday. I have brought endless numbers of clients here for lunch and we come here for our special occasions when it's just the two of us, this is where we choose to come. Time to say goodbye. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, my you can always be sure of a warm welcome at the Pear Tree Hotel.